I sent in some applications for Dad and I to go on the honor flight to Washington, D.C. Yes! Yes! Honor Flight is a national organization. We have hubs in most of the states in the country, and our mission is to fly the veterans to the memorials in Washington, D.C. that were uh, made in honor of their service and sacrifice. Typically, we'll bring a group of 25. This is very unique in that we've been able to bring 66 veterans this time to see their memorials. So this has been incredible to have this many, have this opportunity all together uh, to go to their memorials. A friend gave us a, a, an application and so I filled it out and sent it in and we got put on the list and we got into not the next flight but the second next flight. We're going to visit the World War II Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial. I'm not sure what else, whatever's in between. It's a wonderful thing that they're doing for the veterans. My husband was a veteran in World War II and so this is a chance that he's never had before to come to visit the monuments. And it's wonderful for me because I never thought I'd be able to see it. I think the most amazing thing that I witnessed personally is the transformation of these folks. When they get to their memorials, they start talking about their experiences, things that they've not talked about to anyone. We'd hear funny stories about Jocko the monkey. All the stray dogs that would come into camp, Jocko would jump on these dogs and pull on their hair and ride them around the camp until they never had any stray dogs around anymore. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect from Grandpa. Uh, you know, his, his attitude. <laughs> it was like my doctor told me to go west of my liver. I didn't even know it was out there. He's really just relaxed and enjoying himself, and I think he's very, very humbled being around all these other veterans is his age. For them to go there and experience this, it then makes all that memory come back, and they talk about it, and they leave those stories with family that would have never heard that. I was living in New York, in the Bronx, when I was drafted. He volunteered for overseas duty, and when he arrived at his destination, it was in Panama. Starting the Panama Canal. There were two units. One went to Panama, and the other went to the, was it the Battle of the Bulge? It's the Battle of the Bulge. They were immediately shipped to Europe as a new division to get in the Bulge, and they suffered a number of casualties because they were so green. There was a chance we wouldn't be here because he would have been where the whole unit was wiped out. It's been a very humbling experience for me, especially when total strangers come up to my father and say thank you so much for your service. They applaud, they cheer. It's very, it's been a wonderful experience. My experience was terrific. Fabulous, exciting, interesting experience on the life flight.